out in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, a little small town we call Powder Springs. Um, I got a call from this particular customer last year, probably around the, hmm, probably around June or July. Uh, she had some weeds on the property. It's a new build, so on a new build, a lot of times they put the side down on the property, um, the developers, and a lot. And most of the time, homeowners, when they come in, they just see the new side and they automatically think that it's just going, it'll take care of itself. But it, it doesn't happen that way. So we're getting this property up to par. And um, I decided, you know, since I had my door hangers in the car and I can put the price on the door hangers, I decided, I say, well, you know, I'm a fan of you know, based on where I'm standing at this particular property, I said I'll fan it out. In other words, I'm going to go clockwise from the neighbor's house uh, and five houses from the property where I'm on now. So five houses clockwise. However, I didn't go to the neighbor house next door on the left because I did notice that they did have someone uh, at the moment treating that property. So I didn't want to you know, take any food out of the next man's mouth. So I never do that. If I see a sign in the yard, I just, I keep it moving. It's enough for all of us to eat. Across the street right here, I want you to remember this property right here because we put a door hanger on this particular house and we got a call back within about 20 minutes just to kind of show the importance of, you know, keeping some door hangers in the vehicle and also getting the door hangers out. These door hangers, I got two fifty from Turf Signs in Tampa, Florida. Two fifty the first time, two fifty the second time. Then I got five hundred this year, at one time. But they're eighty seven dollars for two fifty. After about the second or third spray, you know it's already paid for, and the rest is just profit. Especially when you have a residual. So the ROI or return on investment for door hangers, it is super high, super high. I would definitely advise that you do this uh, as a part of your marketing plan. Um, Every door direct mail is what we're doing also this year, in addition to the um, door hangers. And we also have, I have the threshold very, very low. I think about $1.50 a day on Google ads. I could take it up a whole lot more, but I don't think it's necessary because the door hangers are so profitable. And I really want to see what the EDDM is going to do or, you know, every door direct mail. I really want to see what it's going to do. Um, so the Google ads that we're paying for along with our website, uh, it's kind of it's kind of secondary or even third. Um, but I'm back two days later at the house that I actually to remember. And you can see from the island on the property along the curb and sidewalk the island right there. You can see that it's covered in weeds. Definitely need to be treated. Customer uh, realized that and called back in about, I, I promise you, I didn't get up the road too far. My phone had already rang. Uh, it might have been 10 to 15 minutes. And two days later, I'm already back on the property treating it. Uh, just showing the importance of being able to have your presence seen in one way, shape, or form. Uh, whether it be whether it be um, door hangers, whether it be some flyers, whether you're on uh, Craigslist, whether you're on next door, you got to put yourself out there. So I'm treating this yard, this new sign on the property. Um, and like I said, a lot of customers, they get the new sign in and they do not know what's on, on the, what's growing on the property. Right there, you may see some grassy weed, which is a lot of times rescue weed or rescue grass in the new build um, when they put the sides down, when they put the side down. So just keep that in mind. Um, but like I say, the customer, a lot of times they have no idea how to treat it. So that's where we come in at. Come in there, go ahead and knock it down while it's still cold. I'm putting glyphosate on there. I even have some revolver. I went light on the glyphosate. Um, and I went and I and I, I put a combination of revolver in the tank is made by Bear and a little bit of Celsius, uh, you know, to kind of start introducing the grass to what would be on the property for the summer months. So I'm gradually pulling away from the bird 
uh, the glyphosate on the Bermuda and starting to introduce my revolving Celsius because that's what will mainly be sprayed during the summer months. Um, but as you can see, definitely uh, has a lot of grass and weeds coming up. Uh, getting ready to wrap this property up, heading back to the front. Uh, I got to spray the side. So as you can see, uh, look down the side of the house and you'll see where you still have grassy weeds on there also. So I got to take care of that. Once we get that squared away, I uh, got the customer on a every 30 day rotation and that is year round. And if you're interested in getting the weed control, you know, especially if you're in the Georgia area, feel free to reach out. Uh, we went from cutting to spraying, one of the best moves we've ever made. So feel free. I'll be more than happy to help.